Hello again, Pastor Deborah for God Be Love, Love Is Here Ministries. And this is series two of mental health and the forever person. In the first series, which had seven episodes, we talked about a math, a new math, called one plus one plus one. This series, which is beginning uh, today, and I'll have many different episodes in it, is entitled The Three Realms. This is going to be a little introduction into these episodes that are coming. Oh my goodness, I got started a little bit early. <laughs> People are still finding their seats. Okay, oh my goodness, got a lot of people here today from all over the world because the videos are starting to get known and some of my stories, they're incredible, are starting to be heard because they have been silent for many, many years. But this new series, uh, both the webcams and the podcast, Mental Health and the Forever Person. This new series, like I said, is entitled The Three Realms. In these episodes, which will be quite a few, we're going to dig a little deeper into ourselves. And the three realms that our mental health and our forever person live in. The first realm, which many of us are very aware of, is called the realm of the natural the physical body, the temporary realm, the realm that we can see out here. When you look at people, that's what we see. So that's going to be the first realm, and I'm going to break it up into several episodes to go through it and then talk about the professions that deal with mental health, some of the history of mental health, and some of the different uh, terminology and definitions because it's very real vital for you in your learning to understand terms and definitions most of us don't know what this people are talking to us the doctors or our therapists in the mental health world they sort of know uh, not a lot of people have a lot of history of it we're getting it in bits and pieces uh, all over. A lot of wonderful sayings on LinkedIn, a lot of posts. A lot of people are trying so hard to encourage us and give us words and give us some life skills and life coaching to help us. But it's hard when you only have so many nanoseconds on LinkedIn for a post. Or you go to your therapist or your psychiatrist or your primary care physician and they're under a lot of time pressure and they got to sort of move us in and move us out. So we're going to talk about in the first set of episodes that area of the three realms. The second realm will be the realm of your soul, which as I have taught you before has a conscious awareness part and a subconscious part. And we're going to talk about precepts and concepts and beliefs and thoughts and your mind and pictures and your five senses and how all of that is more intricately involved in your mental health. It should be pretty exciting if you've never studied it. Then the third realm is the realm of the spirit. It is the realm that the forever person lives in. Now, a lot of people know about it. I see them all the time in that realm. It's not a spooky realm, but some people make it very spooky and it is very, it's very much with us here on planet earth it has good stuff and bad stuff in it that is where our forever person lives and i'm going to go into a little bit more detail about the forever person and how he is related to and how he is affected by and how the world the realm of the natural the physical body and the soul affect it so that all three realms are involved in mental health and they're all involved in the healing part of it. And so I wanted to just give you this introduction before I get started with episode one. So you'll be aware of what's coming. There'll be lots of different episodes. You know me, I like to talk a lot. And I have a lot of people listening and they're here with us now. 
And so I just wanted to let you know, welcome again to a new series of Mental Health and the Forever Person, The Three Realms. It will be up on the webcam, on YouTube, on the website, www godbelovedishere.org it will be put on the podcast of mental health and the forever person which you can get to from the website and I will also podcast it on out and uh, so you can listen to it wherever you are and uh, so this is real vital because the world and all of humanity are dealing with the mental health and the forever person those two realms are connected they are on planet earth and we have so many issues and everybody every nation every organization the UN every loving faith-based person every loving faith base for every religion everybody's trying to solve these problems so I'm trying to come in and just give you some basic information that when you're out there and you're trying to get healed or find a proper uh, person to help you that you'll have a little bit of information that you can ask some intelligent questions you can research all this out love it's on YouTube it's out on the internet Wikipedia so you become an informed person so you can know how to find the healing that you need and a little bit more about the mental health and the forever person so this is the introduction to the new series of mental health and the forever person the three realms and they are again that's right the natural realm which includes the physical body that is correct and the mental emotional realm that is correct that deals with the soul it's conscious and it's subconscious and the realm of the spirit yay that's right so we're going to be going into those in more detail. I can't take you right there, jump you off the, and throw you into the deep end of the pool where I live most of the time because it takes a lot of work to get there. You got to learn to swim. You got to learn to bob your head under the water, hold your breath, uh, all kinds of things before you can get a lot of realizations of what's going on. But welcome. I hope to get this up today as quick as I can. I am multitasking. Tomorrow, I, and which is Saturday and Sunday, I will be in two days of training on suicide prevention and support group for the community. Uh, one of the people that's learning how to uh, help them, because it's suicide, it's in every place, it's ever, even in the jails and the prisons. We just heard about a big case about that one uh, right here in America. So is suicide real? Yes. Is it happening to, to every na in every nation and every culture? Yes. Is it happening to every profession, men, boy, children? Yes. I have known five-year-old kids try to kill themselves. No, you don't. Put, if they come out of heavy-duty abuse, they will. So this is the introduction, the three rounds. I hope you enjoy it and hope you come back. Love always and forever, Pastor Dick. Look at the board, bank your notes, get you a new notebook or tablet or whatever you use and make the notes. See you in a bit.